Hey, how's it going guys? Got a knife review for you today. What you're looking at here is the Gerber Big Rock. Thanks to my buddy Murph for letting me borrow this. Uh, let's have a look at the knife itself. It's a nice drop point design. As you can see, it's been well used. Uh, it's combination edge, as you can see here. Serrations are, work really well. I used this to cut some cord earlier. It worked fantastic. Uh, it's also offered in a regular plain edge, which is what I would get if I were to get this knife. If you look here, the grind starts so high that you can basically consider this a flat grind. It goes all the way down to the edge, which is nice. It'll make this a pretty good slicer if you get this in a plain edge as well. Came to me razor sharp. I don't know if he uh, sharpened this or not, but a lot of the Gerber knives that I've uh, checked out right out of the box are razor sharp out of the box. Um, it's thick. Uh, it's about four millimeters in thickness, which means this is a great knife if you want to do some batoning. Um, tapers down a little bit quickly at the tip and because of the steel I would recommend avoiding stresses at the tip but I'll get to that later but if you're batoning uh, say up to two inches uh, two inch branches I wouldn't mind like batoning this because the thickness at four millimeters is pretty good uh, if you notice here the little notch here the ricasso right here it's sharp enough underneath the blade that I was able to actually pull sparks off of a fire steel you can see some of the carbon left over so yeah this is good you can use this as an overall great camp knife, great for chopping, great for splitting, uh, batoning, and at the same time you can use this to start fires if you lose the steel that comes with your fire steel. If you notice here, full tang design, you can see the blade runs all the way down to the handle, which is great. It'll add some stability for those of you who want a full tang knife. just means you're not going to have to worry about like the handle breaking off at all. And then it's covered with these fiberglass reinforced nylon grips that have a soft grip over mold. Uh, it's the same kind of soft grip that you find on the Gerber Gator series and I really like it just because it has that nice grippy, spongy kind of feeling on it. I wish uh, a lot of other knives that I liked had the option of putting this soft grip on it. A lot of people complain and say it'll wear off. Um, I haven't had any problems with it lately but even then um, would still want to have it anyways on my knives just because it adds so much to the comfort and the ergonomics of it. You notice it has like these little ridges right here which adds uh, good positive traction onto the handle itself and the handle scales are held in by torque screws on either side so if you wanted to I bet you can unscrew these and take the handle scales off so if this does wear off you can take it off probably get somebody to make uh, new grips for you and it covers most of the handle itself nice finger trowel right here underneath the blade and there's a gentle thumb ramp with jimping on the back so between these two doesn't feel like I'm going to lose control of this knife anytime. It feels very comfortable in the hand. Uh, speaking of the jimping on the back here, it looks like it's just big and basic, but it's nice and rounded enough so that, one, I can get a positive grip on it, but at the same time it's rounded so it's not going to eat up my thumb when I put my thumb here. A lot of people either don't put jimping at all or put jimping that's not functional, or they'll go on the other end and they'll put jimping that's so sharp that, yeah, it'll hold your thumb, but you're not going to want to use it because it'll rip your thumb up pretty badly. So that's nice. The finger troll is well done, positively holds my hand, and at the same time I like the fact that they left it with just this troll. I hate knives that just uh, do the little um, cutouts for each individual finger just because it means it's only going to fit one shape of hand. With this, I have small size hands, this is comfortable for me, and I have friends who have, my friend has a medium size hand, this works for him. I see this would work well for someone with large hands or someone wearing gloves as well. You have a generous lanyard hole right here, and it's really wide, so it can easily accommodate 550 paracord or any other thick cord that you want to put in here. It just feels really nice in hand. Uh, the one issue that I don't like about this knife is it's made out of 440A steel, which is a bit of a soft steel. Much would have preferred, say, 420HC, like used by Buck, Oz 8A, or even I would be willing to pay a little bit more and get this in 440C. 440A is a little bit on the soft side, but uh, with decent heat treating, uh, it'll be serviceable for everyday camp uses. And uh, even though I say I don't like 440A, I've talked to a bunch of guys who use knives, and particularly I like guys who use knives, not guys who collect knives, just because they have a better idea of what's more functional, and that's what's important to me. Uh, I was talking to this old timer at a gun and knife show, and he was telling me that. When it comes down to knives, blade shape and blade thickness will have more about to do with performance than the steel itself. So you could have a knife in ZDP 189 or S30V, but if the blade shape is terrible, it's not going to be a good knife. You're not going to want to use this. I really like this drop point design, and the thickness is just good enough that it's strong enough to baton with, yet 
uh, because of the grind, it's good enough that it's going to be a decent slicing knife, so I could actually use this in the kitchen. So, great shape, great ergonomics. Yeah, I'm going to complain that it's 440A steel, but the blade shape makes it very functional. Um, as you can see, because of the scrapes and little pieces of dirt that's embedded in here, it's seen a lot of use, and it hasn't choked at all. It's worked perfectly well. Looking at the sheath itself, nothing to write home about. It's just a basic nylon sheath. Uh, a lot of people don't like, uh, think it's attractive at all, but hey, as long as it's functional, right? Got a generous loop right here, so you can accommodate not just like a regular size belt, but large uh, webbing belts, so you can fit a belt. It uh, looks to be about up to three inches. If you have a huge three inch wide belt, you can fit it through here, no problem. As for the retention itself, even though it's made of nylon, it has this little insert right here, plastic or nylon insert, so that you don't risk cutting the sheath. When I slide it in, it holds it in just fine. And then it has a snap loop to keep it secure because of the soft grip, you can't use something that has a click because that would pull off the soft grip. So you're gonna need some other retention. So basically when this slides in, you have this loop that goes through the over the troil and snaps into place. If you're gonna have a snap loop, I prefer the kind like this that snaps over the troil. I don't really care for um, sheaths that have the snap over the handle just because I think it's not as um, convenient to have. much prefer the one that here that snaps for the handle. So that way when I have this on my belt I can just reach down use my index finger to pull the snap off and then I can just pull the belt off. It makes it a lot more ergonomic in my opinion. So the sheath is functional. It's not special but who cares as long as it works, right? Um, it's a pretty good knife. Um, I like the weight and the feel. Weighs, I think, about 6.3 ounces for the knife itself. With the sheath together, weighs 7.7 .7 ounces. So totally handleable, and it's a strong, durable fixed blade knife. Feels great in the hand, uh, great blade shape, very functional. Uh, the only issue I have is the steel. But I mean, if you're not a steel snob like me, I mean, I've been reviewing a bunch of knives, so I think it's gotten to my head. If you just want a knife to be used and is affordable, you can get it for about 28 bucks with free shipping online at Amazon.com. Um, you might want to give this a shot. Very functional, great knife, and I think it's just a decent buy. Um, so that's my review of the Gerber Big Rock. Give it a shot, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.